The next type of attack is going to be VLAN hopping attack. Where what this means is that I want to have an attacker, of course. And the attacker host is going to be attached to Ethernet, to an Ethernet semi clearly, and is going to send dot one Q or ISL tagged frames into the switch network in order to hop over VLAN barriers. So the attacker is going to be able to send uh, dot one Q tagged frames or ISL tagged frames and send traffic to different uh, portions of the network to call it that way without even without passing to a layer 3 device and we have two variations of this of this VLAN hopping attack one is when the attacker is going to run DTP with the connected switch to actually form a trunk link and be able to send tag frames in the network so what happens is the following how this works is for example I have a switch in here this is whatever switch one and this switch has a host connected in VLAN 10 this is in VLAN 10 connected and let's say a host connected in VLAN 20 and then somebody plugs in the network in here the attacker and because the attacker is able to negotiate trunk formation with the switch, this is the attacker. Because it is able to, to, uh, to because the attacker is able to form a trunk with the switch, because the switch was misconfigured and allowed the attacker to form a trunk with the switch, it means that the attacker, if VLAN 10 is subnet 10.10.10.0.24, and VLAN 20 is some 20, 20, 20, is just 24, for example. Because the attacker has formed a trunk with the switch, it means that the attacker can actually send packets in the network to that trunk for both VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So the attacker is able to actually send traffic destined to all VLANs and the traffic is going to be allowed by the switch and is going to be received by the destinations without even passing to a layer 3 device. Because if the attacker is, it forms a trunk with the switch, it means it can send, it can send frames with possibly any with any possible tag value and those could could in the end be targeting a specific destination in different VLANs so because of the, because of the capability of the attacker to form a trunk with the switch in order for the attacker to launch attacks against those two devices in VLANs 10 and 20 to host one and host two it doesn't need to send traffic to a layer 2 device because the switch is going to allow for this attack to work and the other variation of this is going to be that the attacker is going to be able to send frames double tagged with that one Q headers. Where the outside header is called to be only padding and the inside header is going to be tagged with the destination VLAN of the victim. So if the first attack was successful because the, 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 the attacker was able to form a trunk with the switch, the second attack is successful in the, is successful because of the following use case. You have the following use case with let's say two switches, switch one and switch two, switch one and switch two. And they are connected over a trunk port. This is a trunk port. Now let's suppose that the native VLAN the native VLAN on that trunk port which is the VLAN where traffic is being sent untagged back and forth native VLAN is going to be VLAN 100 let's say 
So the configured native VLAN on the trunk port is going to be VLAN 100 on both sides of the trunk. And let's suppose that, for example, Switch2 has a host connected in here on port, so host 1, and this is going to belong to VLAN 10, for example. So this belongs to VLAN 10. And on the left side of the network, I have my attacker, which is connected to VLAN 100. Attacker. It is connected as, a, as, an, as an access port, but to VLAN 100. Now what the attacker can do, what this guy can do, it can send the following, the following packet in the network. Like whatever the payload is, I don't care, the layered fee header and the payload and whatever. So it's going to be the layered fee header, for example, layered fee header. And then the payload of the packet. But then at the layer 2 header, it's going to put in here two tags. Two VLAN tags. It's going to put 100 as the outer VLAN tag and 10 we're going to put the 100 as the outer VLAN tag and 10 as the inner VLAN tag. And it's going to send this packet in the network over here. Now, the most of the switches, even if the sw switch one receives this packet on an access port, as long as the configured access port VLAN, which is 100, matches the received outer tag value of the packet, the switch is going to accept the packet. So technically speaking, in most cases, on access ports, the switch sends and receives untagged frames, but if the switch receives tagged frames, it's still going to accept the frame if the VLAN number of the packet equals the, the VLAN configured on the access port, which it does. So then the switch accepts the packet. But then the switch has to send the packet, has to switch the packet over towards the destination because this frame was destined to host 1, which is connected to switch 2. So then the switch 1 has to switch the packet further over the trunk to switch 2. But when it does this, it realizes that the native VLAN of the trunk is VLAN 100. There you go. Which is the same VLAN as the received packet. So because of that, I cannot send a tagged packet over a trunk with the VLAN number matching the native VLAN. So what, this, what switch one is going to do is going to remove this VLAN. And this is what switch two is going to receive. And switch two is going to look at the remaining VLAN header because that's what switch two receives. It receives a packet with a tag of 10. Of course, uh, for which the destination MAC address is belong belongs to host 1. And then switch 2 is going to forward the frame to that device in VLAN 10. So there we go. The attack succeeded. Again, the attacker has was able to launch an attack from VLAN 100 as the source, destined to VLAN 10 as the destination, without passing through a layer 2 device. So what allowed for this to happen is that the native VLAN between the switches was actually also a VLAN used to connect endpoints like how the attacker was connected.